Honorable Uju Kingsley calls for collective fight in ending Nigeria's flood menace. Advocate support for flood victims in Imo. This is Prudent MS TV News. Government at all level has been called upon to, as a matter of urgency, look into the ongoing flooding menace currently ravaging communities in various states across the country. The lawmaker representing the people of Ohaji Egbema, Oguta, and Oru West Federal constituency, Honorable Kisley Uju Chima, made the call while interacting with newsmen following the negative effect of the flood in some of the communities in his constituency. What we're saying is, government at all levels should put their hands together to fight this menace of flooding. I mean, from the local government to the state to the federal. It's not to be left only to for the federal government. It's, it's going to be a collaborative effort, uh, which we usher in a symbiotic relationship so that we can get a result to put a stop to this and save the lives of thousands of people displaced by flooding. A visit by a news crew to Eziosu, one of the affected communities in Ogota local government area, depicts a devastating condition of residents. The flood was seen to have taken over homes. The roads are impassable by motorists owing to the flood. Residents now improvise means to transport themselves on water to save life. Most farmlands are completely washed off and cash crops worth millions of naira destroyed. Worship centers, marketplaces and schools were not left out they all got their sad heat from the unfortunate incident that led to the displacement of many residents with little or no government support many people are looking a way of rescue and so we are looking at uh, what we are uh, the next thing to be done as you can see because of uh, some people who cannot uh, swim to get their properties out uh, the flood has carried them and uh, there are boats Kenu here. And actually, if you look around, you can see my people, we are also bringing my things out from the church. It has entered the church, buildings, and many things have been damaged. This is quite uh, very unfortunate because it's becoming nearly a perennial problem. And we have been expecting help from the government all this while, but it doesn't come. If you look around, you see that my people have vacated the whole of this place. There are reptiles all over the place. And uh, it's beyond the imagination where my people are. I've been calling on different agencies to come, from the federal to state government, to come to our aid, to assist us. Most of us, our building have been flooded. And so many women have been displaced. I'm running from here to here. If you go to your uncle's place, the next day, the place you run to, if you go to by flood, you start going to another place. So I want the relevant agencies, the NEMA, East of ADEC, the MDDC, state government, they should come to our aid. While calling for adequate and immediate intervention of government for affected victims, Honorable Ujo Kingsley said, the yearly flooding occurrence poses great danger to lives and property of Nigeria's citizens. He maintained that the sad narrative is avoidable if governments do the needful by engaging in activities that will tempt the water from overflowing its banks. So a lot of diseases flow alongside the water. It's throwing out a lot of animals, it's killing a lot of fishes, it's throwing out a lot of animals, reptiles, and uh, what, whatever. And as these things are being thrown out, you have the reptiles, the most dangerous reptiles like the snakes running out of the, running out of the, 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 the abode in order to find refuge somewhere. And the best place they can find refuge could be the upland where the human beings are occupying. So a lot of issues, a lot of issues, honestly, a lot of issues. And uh, I, will, I will request that both Federal Minister of Health, um, Federal Minister of um, uh, Humanitarian Services, Environment, and um, NEMA, should live up to the expectation as regards to this uh, situation. Speaking further, the federal lawmaker said the yearly loss caused by flooding are huge and must not be allowed to continue if the nation must move forward. From Imo State, Southeast Nigeria, Ajibade Awofeso, Prudent MSTV News. This is Prudent MSTV News.